left, okay? Keep a look on your men. Now, we don't care how hard you go between them whistles, but when we blow a whistle, we want the play to stop, all right? Okay. Guys, you're the visitor, you get to call it. I'm going to show all of you the coin. That's heads. That's tails. Call it loud. Which one's going to be supposed to you? Call it loud so we all can tell. Keith, what'd you call? Yeah. We have heads. It's your choice. You defer. Okay. Do you wish to receive the ball? Which way do you wish to kick it? You want to kick it that way? Would you stand over here? There you have it. The Beachwood Tigers have won the coin flip. They have deferred their choice to the second half of play, and Covington Catholic will get the football. Moving right to left on your radio dial, we'll be back with a kickoff right after this on WCVG AM 20, straight up the middle to the 25 and back down at the 27-yard line. Kevin DeCanther will take over first and 10. The offense is set for the Colonel. Tom Ernst will be your center. Mark Mangine, Kevin Getz, the two guards. Kurt Dolan, Ryan Kittle, two quality tackles. Yeah. And don't forget, Dellen is in there. He was hurt last week for Beachwood. He's the middle linebacker, hurt for the game against the World Juggernauts. He's in there tonight. First and 10 from the 27. High formation, man in motion is Reardon. Here's the hand off the band around the left side. He's to the 30-yard line and almost breaks it in the secondary. Good open field tackle by Joey List at around the 31-yard line. Yeah, excellent tackle from behind that time by Joey List. Madden, a sensational running back for Clinton Catholic. Last we go for the Colonel. Right at the 30-yard line. Oh, the wide out to the far side. Summy to the near. The eye formation. McDermott is the fullback and the tailback is bad. Keys underneath on the second down and six. There's some movement, and back to throw the ball will go Keyes. No flag. Keyes looks downfield, throws over Reardon. the middle, checks off Reardon. It's the 35. He's to the 40, and to the 41-yard line. Mark Reardon with the catch. He has been the favorite target of Jerry Keyes the first two weeks for tight end, Kevin. Something we really haven't seen the last couple of years. They used some of the tight end of the offense. Five defensive for the Beachwood Tigers is Holderman, Claiborne, Matricia, Willie, and List. The linebackers are Moore, Zellin, and Bishop. Kaiser, Coyle, and Wolfeck are the defensive backs. First in San for Cub Cass at their own 41-yard line. Double wideouts, double slots. Now man will go in motion. And here's the rollout, 45-yard line, keys of the football to the 50 and brought down at the 48. Josh Bishop in on the stop as Keys runs the option. Did not pitch it to Madden, but got outside and enough for the first down. The market eight wide outs to both sides. I think Beachwood now is going to try to stop the run, and that's a good move by Mike Eagle. They're going to try to stop it right here on first down. And here's the handoff to Madden. He's to the 45-yard line and brought down after a gain of a couple. And on the stop, Dan Woolley, the defensive tackle, in a gain of about two, and that'll bring up a second down and eight. I'm convinced that any level of football, worst second down opportunity of this drive, second and seven. Wide out to both sides, man. The slot is reared in. Now he will go in motion. The eye formation with keys underneath. Here's the pitch to man around the left side. He's got a block. He's to the 40-yard line and brought down. Nice open field tackle at the 40 by Jeff Dillon. Just shy of the 40 is Wilbur Market. It'll bring up a big third down and three. 
four This is the Star Sports Radio Network Game of the Week. Beach him to the near side, hauling to the far. Eye formation once again, reared it. Watch him from the tight end position on this third down and three. And back to throw the little keys. Roll out, throw down. Fields got his man. Who else reared yeah. it? At the 30 yard line, fast forward to the 27. Scott Coyler on the stop, but the tight end with another catch. Mark Reardon over the middle on the rollout to the right side by Keys and will move the stick. Well, Jared Keys now two of two and then a big part of that, and also passing the ball to the tight end has been a big part of that. First and 10 from the 27. Tandem's down to the near side. Roach in the slot, hall the wide out. Men will go in motion. On this first down, he'll hand off to Madden. Madden, right side, he's to the 20. He's inside the 15. Bye bye. Touchdown! Jeremy Madden, the best running back in Covington Catholic history. A 27 yard scamper from the right side. The Colonel's on top, 6 to nothing. He took it to the outside and caught a little seam up the middle and made the most of it. You give Madden a seam and he'll make you pay, and he did. And Covington Catholic on the board. I take the chance on him. I think he could play Division One football. It might be Division One AA that he could play, but I definitely think he could play at the next level. Explosive speed there. Now gets in to attempt the extra point. Out of the hole of keys on the tee. Kick is up, and it is good. Seven to nothing. Eight forty-nine left to go in the first quarter. We'll be back after this on the Star Sports Radio Network. Tonight's game brought to you by Columbia Federal. The Urban Back. The tail and Scott Coyle the flanker. And a very tight formation this time for Beachwood on first down. Bishop, the lone back in the backfield. Wolfeck is in the slot. Here's the handoff. Inside handoff to Wolfeck. He's at the 30-yard line. To the outside. To the 40, 45, Bowie. 50. Down the sideline. Bowie trying to run him down, and he does. It runs him out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Well, how about a huge run on the first play of scrimmage for some 54 yards from Adam Wolfeck. Just that inside handoff, Kevin. Yep. We've seen it. Last year and this year, side off tackle. He cuts it quickly to the outside, and then it's a foot race, and Bowie ran him down, and they'll mark him out of bounds at the 26. Excellent way for the Beachwood Tigers to start their drive as they're moving left to right on your radio dial, and Wolfeck is a hoss. He's a great running back, a great player, and a great asset to the school right here in Fort Mitchell. High formation, tandem to the far side. Here's the handoff straight up the gut to Bishop. Gain of about a yard, maybe two, to the 24-yard line. Tim Wolf in on the stop. And a quick look at the Covenant Catholic defense. Hammond, Applegate, Grout, an injury tonight for Covenant Catholic at the right defensive end slot. Is Nick Thurman will not be in there tonight. Second down and nine. Here's a head off to Wolfpack. Big hole to the 20-yard line. Still on his feet and brought down and around the 16. Matt reared it into a stop, but a nice hole off the left tackle. And they cleared a big one out of there. Give Brian Claiborne and Kenny Kinsella credit. Big hole there for Wolfpack, and he got to around the six snap on third down. Quickly, they'll give it off. Wolfpack straight up the middle. I believe it up for the first down. Indeed. And he gets to the 15. He's across the 15 to around the 14-yard line. Mike Wood, we talked a little bit about defense at the outset of this one. But it was a power football team as well as finesse this year. Indeed, they are. Ball at the 14-yard line. Here's the inside reverse. Coyle with the football around the left side and brought down from behind. Got to around the 13-yard line. And a good stop in there by Matt Day. Also... In on the stop for coming. A bit of work to do on that. But second down and a long eight for Beachwood. Now 6.45 left to go in the first quarter. It's CTH 7. Beachwood nothing. Wide out both sides. Wolfeck will go in motion. Bishop alone back in the backfield. Back to throw. Here comes Green. the blitz. Screen pass. Joey lifts to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. I believe somebody in this broadcast did say Joey Lift would have a big ball game tonight. Well, they read that perfectly. A great job by Derek Eastep. They were coming on the blitz. They let him through, and then got it outside the tight end screen, and Lift rumbles in from 13 yards out, and it's 7-6. This is a very big asset as a tight end for Beachwood. The tight ends have been huge in this game. Cubs half up 7-6. Now, this is an area that Beachwood has struggled with this year, Randy. They have not got the snap down well. Haynes has really struggled trying to put the ball in the tee. 
the hold of Haynes. Wolfpack, it's a low snap again. Wolfpack does kick it up. Good job by Haynes to get it on the tee, and it is good. 7-7, 633 left to go in the first quarter. Stay with us. We'll be back. McDermott in front of him in the backfield for the Colonels. Reared in a wide out to the near side. On this first down, hand off to Foy around the left. He's got some room. Good to 25, cut to the outside, and a great open field tackle from the backside. Bishop at the 24 by Bishop as Foley was cutting it to the outside and had to. Right now, he's better when he splits out wide for the Colonels. Right now, he's going to be at a wing slot on the right side of the offense for the Colonels. Lay him in a slot, hauler wide out to the far side. On this second down, Keyes will go back to throw the football, looks downfield, looks, throws, hooks up the hauler. He's at the 32-yard line and brought down, but that will be enough for a first down. And there is Jeff Dillon to make the stop. Kevin running a lot of look-in patterns early on here, just over the middle, hooking up. Actually, in half number two, right now he's red hot. Three of three for 32 yards, and doing a good job finding the wide-open receiver. Wide outs to both sides, Summit to the near, hauler to the far, high formation, Foley the tailback. On this first down, Keyes loses the football, it's on the turf, and let's see who's Foley. got it. Foley's got it. Yep, Foley recovered the fumble back at the 31-yard line. It squirted through Keyes' hands. It might have run. Let me tell you right now that with this alignment in the game, Covington Catholic is not as strong offensively as with their first set that was out there for the second, first offensive second series. Second and 14, and Keyes goes back and is dropped at the 22. Dan Bully came shooting through the gap and nails Keyes at the 24-yard line. Mike, he was in that backfield almost before Keyes came out of center. He was, and it was real close to be Down and long, and I think Tony Kevin will be pretty conservative with this play call. Third down, Keyes underneath. On this third down and 20, Keyes will go back to throw the quarterback football. Draw. Quarterback draw. He kicks to the outside of the 25. He's to the 30 and brought down at around the 34-yard line. And a flag is down in the backfield. And that looks like in the area of holding. Kevin. Yeah, I think it is, Randy. I think it's going to be holding against the coming Catholic Colonels. And in particular, Dan Summercamp, who is in there. That's 7-7 seven seven the score. 343 left to go in quarter number one. Thanks for joining us on the Star Sports Radio Network. Willie? has made his decision after Mike Hagel signaled it to him they would have climbed the penalty Covington Kelly would have to kick the football away so good defense that time by Beachwood and I think they got one objective done they rattled Jared Keyes a little bit Randy they hit him a couple times Hart Coyle and Wolfeck will stand back at the 35 yard line to receive with 343 left to go here in the first quarter and Keyes set to punt it away I just got a hunch about Coyle tonight too for some reason seems like he's revved up and ready to go Here's a snap. Keys with the kick, a low line drive, and Wolfeck will let it bounce at the 35-yard line. It will take a Covenant Catholic roll and roll out of bounds at a 31, at the 31, upon a 35 yard. And no return. Here come the Tigers once again. Wide outs to both sides, coil to the near, Kaiser to the far, Wolfeck in the slot. Now he'll go in motion. He step will pitch it out to Coyle. Coyle with a football to the 30-yard line. To the 35. He's to the 40. Into the secondary. To the 50 across midfield. Down to the 40. Still on his feet. To the 20. Down the left sideline. And finally brought down inside the 10-yard line and around the 8. Tom Bowie making the stop. A great job by Coyle on the end around to go to the left side and tight rope the sideline for about 15 yards before he's brought out of bounds at the 9. A 60-yard stamp at that time and really just a well-designed play by the Beachwood coach. First down and goal to go. That's just good coaching and great execution by the kids on the field. Tandem to the far side. Wolfeck the low back of the backfield. Hand off the Wolfeck up the gut to about the 8 or to about the 7. Gain of 1. Greg Hammond in on the stop and that'll bring up a second down and goal to go from the 7. State of Kentucky, except that they won the state championship. I would agree. A lot of those guys still on this club. So yep. if Beachwood ever has a rebuilding year, I think last year might have been it. East step rolls to the right, looks into the end zone, looks wide open, touchdown! Oh, the Beachwood Tigers have won it. They've thrown it. And Joey Lamp counted on the board. The Beachwood Tigers have their first lead of the game. 13 to 7 is your score with 2.45 left to go in a very explosive first quarter of play. And I want to say again, somebody.
now, I think what that does for Beachwood is I think it's going to force Jared Keyes to be effective throughout the contest. He's been very effective so far tonight for Cubscast, but he's got to keep it up. He's got to be consistent. Wolf back in. This, once again, has been an adventure. Haynes did a great job getting it on the tee last time. Let's see if the snap is better this time out. It is on the tee. Kick is up. It is good. 14 to 7. Beachwood by 7. 2.45 to go in the first quarter. We'll be back on the Star Sports Radio Network. with the two tailbacks and so far I really don't think it's worked I think I, Madden is yep. by far the better back I agree first, Madden's in and out first and ten from the 20 yard line here's the handoff to Madden up the middle this time not going anywhere it's the 21 yard line and brought down at the 21 by Vinnie Matricia the nose guard this evening let you know what's going on in some of the other games each one has beat Cubs Cats last three times these two clubs have Net, and Beach was up by a touchdown. He's back to throw the football, looks downfield, throws over the middle, it's spotted down, incomplete. Jerry List got a hand on it. Yep. Josh Morris also in the vicinity, and now Keys, three or four in the game. Shoot the lot and see what, what they came up with. Not nine yards down the field, but 15 to 20 yards down the field. This year, I think, they've got to run a conservative type of attack. The look-in pattern has worked successfully tonight. Third down and nine. Back to throw goes Keys. Looks over the middle, got the ball and throws. Incomplete. They were trying to go to Haller at the 31-yard line. It was over his head. Coil in on the coverage and coming to count. They three it out. They missed fire. And it was not there. Let me tell you something. If Keyes gets off a 35-yard punt like he did the last time, Beachwood's going to have excellent field position. Under two minutes to go in the first quarter. Here's the snap. Keyes puts the toe into it off the side of his foot. Coyle will run up. It'll bounce at the 50. He'll gather it in at the 45. Cut it off to the left. He's at the 50-yard line and brought down at around the 47 upon a 34-yard. Into coming to Catholic territory. Good field position for the Beachwood Tigers at the 47. Receiving Tigers. Speaking of Kenner, maybe a sore spot maybe for some Beachwood fans, but Deontay Kenner out of Hopkinsville, listening to the Rick Minner show the other night, he has elevated himself to the number two quarterback, leapfrogging over a couple of folks, including Greg Herget. Well, Greg had some troubles in the opening season victory for the Bearcats, but Deontay Kenner, I think, an athletic type, but the Highlands River certainly bottled him down in the and second think, half last week. And I do think that that's the type of quarterback Rick a mistake to go to the University of Kentucky when he did. Well, when Couch went there, I think the, the yeah. handwriting was on the wall. Thank you. Right. Beachwood with a seven-point advantage. A minute 48 left to go in the first quarter. Here come the Tigers. Back to throw goes East. He'll go long. Kaiser. Down the left side. Looking for Kaiser on the fly pattern incomplete. He's trying to run it down at the 30-yard line. Pretty good coverage there by Tom Beecham. Stride for stride with Coyle. And it will fall incomplete. Down. Absolutely right. I like the way Mike Yeager and his coaching staff calls the game. There's no doubt about it. I mean, the success is because of the kids, but the play calling, outstanding. Second down. Here's the pitch around the left side. Wolf back with a football looking for some running room at the 30-yard line. A penalty marker is down as he gets to around the 32. And this one might be coming back, Kevin. He's going to be holding on the tight end, Joey Les, who caught two touchdown passes, but this time he'll be caught with a holding penalty. Minute 37 left to go in the first quarter. Beachwood 14, Cubcast 7. Thanks for joining us tonight. Alexander last night running for a touchdown for the Alabama Crimson Tide and their shutout victory over Vanderbilt. Trip set to the far side on his second down and 25. East Trump will throw the screen to Coyle. Coyle to the outside. He's to the 15-yard line of the 20. Still on his feet for the 25. Across the 25 and run out of bounds and around the 30. Where are they going to mark him out? 29. 29-yard yep, yep, line. 13-yard pickup that time on a little wide receiver screen to Scotty Coyle. In the 29, Kaiser wide out to the near side. He's a dangerous receiver. Madden hooked on him. Watch Coyle. Coyle in the slot. Now he will go in motion. On 
Bob. It's third down. He step underneath. He'll go back to throw the football. Looks downfield. Throws to the outside. In and out of the hands of Bishop. Incomplete. And Beachwood's going to have to punt it away. Voorhees was in there on the coverage. I don't think Bishop would have got the punt. Yeah, two touchdown receptions. And that holding call against him. Bowie and Madden to Premier. Three turners will go back. Here's the snap and the punt. A boomer by Wolfack. He drives Foley back to around the 20-yard line. And then Foley down. rips down at the 19. A punt of 50 yards by Wolfack. And Foley trying to go upfield after he had to reach over his shoulder together and the punt slipped down and fell. They'll mark it right at the 20. And coming in the game when you're in there every other time. Plus, uh, I would think they'd be able to pick up some tendencies for who's in there on particular downs. Yep. Wide out both sides in the eye formation. First and 10 from the 20. And Foley with the football. Kicks it to the outside. And he's still on his feet. Great job of running by Foley. Run out of bounds at around the 27. Dan Woolley in on the stop. Well, Mark, he's probably at the 28. A couple of guys had a chance for the Beachwood Tigers, and they could not corral. Our sports radio network. Holler to the far side. Summy to the near on second down and two. Adam Wolfleck back playing deep safety. Now Kaiser joins him as each one with a two-deep zone. Here's the handoff, right side, Foley. Foley with first down yardage to the 35-yard line and brought down at the 40. Hit on the stop, Josh Morris, but a good game by Foley again to the 40-yard line. They got the 12 yards on that carry. Yep, Ray Hopkins told me he drove by at three and they were waiting in line for tickets. Well, what was Ray doing here so early anyway? I think he came by and got to the skyline. Right there out you go. both sides. Here's the pitch outside to Foley, trying to cut the corner. He's to the 45-yard line and brought down. At the 46, Dan Woolley in on the stop, but another big game by Foley. Up to about the 45, they'll mark it. Gain of five, second and five. <laughs> to the far side, holding it in the air, reared it in the slot. That is Mark Reardon, and watch out for him. On this third and five. Back to throw goes Keys, looks, throws. He's got his man, that is Haller, and Haller does, I believe, get enough for the first down. Just across close. midfield, it's going to be close. Joey lifted on the stop. I don't know, Randy, where they marked the football. I think he may be a tad shy. What do you think, Mike? I mean, it's, it's right in front of the bench. I'm going to try to get down here. I believe it's going to be short, too. You know, Haller caught that ball at the 49. He made a little hitch move and actually backpedaled about a yard, a yard and a half to try to get it to the inside to get that extra yardage. I'm not sure he made it. They're going to stretch the chains right now. Here we go. And nose. Oh, my. Nose. And short. You got to go for it. Yeah. You got to go for it here. But if you don't have confidence, your team can pick up a half of it. It's just for the quarterback keeper, then you got some serious problems. Here we go. Fourth down and inches. Full house backfield. Keys will make the first down on the quarterback sneak. At it's the 48-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Sometimes teams try to be tricky there. Lynn Ray said, we're going for it. We're busting right over our center, Ernst. The Colonels got the first down yesterday. 24-6, to six, the final score. A little whooping. A little whooping from the folks from Fort Thomas. Wide out both sides. The eye formation from the 48-yard line. Keys underneath. Here's the handoff straight up the gun to McDermott. And McDermott with a pretty good game to around the 44-yard line. Jeff Zellin in on the stop, but the quick hitter works for a gain of about five. And they'll bring up second down and five. Yeah, now four guys. Second down and five. All to the near side. Beachwood right now not respecting the Cubs cap turnover passing game. High formation. Here's the handoff to Foy to the right. Now dips it inside or around the 41 and stops at the 41 yard line. Vinny Matresha in on the stop. And that'll bring up a third down. And we'll call it third and against a mediocre club. Wide out to both sides. Here's a handoff up the middle. McDermott first down yardage to the 35. Bounces off one would be tackler and moves to the 34. Wolf back in on the stop. A good job by McDermott. He bounced off a guy at around the 38-yard line and got some yardage. Same drive, moving the football now. First and 10, 9.55 to go in the first half. Wide out both sides. Coming to the far side, hard to the near in the eye formation. And with the football is Keyes on the keeper, and he doesn't get very far. Maybe the line of scrimmage, and that is all. But even Tracia on the stop, fake to McDermott, kicked it to the outside and kept the football. And nothing there will bring up a second down and 10. I think that time himself, he's very low to the ground. Big, big, strong, tough guy. Second down and 10. Once again, wide out to both sides. Back 
back to throw goes Keyes. Throws out in the flat. Hooks up the oh. baller at the 30-yard line to the 25 and run out of bounds. And around the 24, Scott Coyle in on the stop. What do you got for us, Mike? That uh, was just a great little off pattern. Uh, Tom Huller came out. The first down yardage yeah. as well. And Huller now has caught three passes for 24 yards. Reared in two catches for 24 yards. Those are the two guys that have caught all the balls tonight from Jared Keyes as the chains come across the field. The measurement is made. First down. And Mike Wood says first oh. down. <laughs> it is indeed is. First down for the Cubs Jeff Colonels. 9.05 to go in the second quarter. Big time. Four or five deep. Yep. It's great. I mean, it's a great night for football. Two great teams. I mean, class action, Northern Kentucky. And now we have some difficulty. I believe we've got a timeout taken on the field. And we will step out as well. Your score, Beachwood 14, Cubs Jeff 7. You're listening to the Star Sports Radio Network. 9.05 to go in the first half. They trail by seven. Roach and Haller. Wide out. Tandem to the far side. Here's the handoff to Foley. Straight up the middle. Turns forward to about the 20-yard line. Nice run by him to the 20. Good coaching anywhere that those guys have uh, supplied over the years. But I'll tell you what, both clubs know how to run. Both clubs know how to pass consistently. Second down and seven. Ball at the 21. Here's the handoff to McDermott. Straight up the middle. And he is brought down after a gain of about one, maybe two to the 19-yard line. In on the stop. Nice hit by the Tracia Tigers. Yeah, and Tracia was one of the guys in on the tackle, but... Uh, also Dan Woolley getting up yeah. off the bottom of the pile. Each him into the ball game now, and he'll come into the final lineup as a wide receiver split into the near side. Watch Paulus curl it in off of Beecham on this third down. Keith with the keeper and looking to pitch. Now he will hold on to it, a wise move, although he does not get anywhere near the first down yard. He's in fact back to the original line of scrimmage, and that is all. But he was holding that ball, Mike Woods, in his right hand, looking like he was going to pitch the ball. as he's going to spit out his race. Wide out to the far side this time. He's actually going to be a slot receiver. Fourth down and five. With the ball at the 20-yard line. Back to throw goes Keith. Looks downfield. Looks, throws. Left side. Incomplete. Almost picked off by Kaiser. They were trying to go to Lanham. And thrown over his head. And Kaiser almost with a pick. But it doesn't matter. Beachwood will take over the football to a long drive. They'll have the football to start the third quarter. I think Kevin Catholic's in some serious, serious doo-doo. John Mueller wide out to the far side. Here's the handoff straight up the middle of Wolfpack. He is hammered at the 19-yard line. Wolf, nice open field tackle by Wolf. But that's the, really the first time we've called his name tonight, Kevin. You're right. He step on the night. Three of five for 33 yards and two touchdown passes. Mueller wide out to the far side. And here's the handoff oh, yeah. on the end around the coil. He's not going to go anywhere. Dipped inside, lost a few. Back to around. 17-yard line. Ed grounded on the stop. It good penetration there by the Covenant Catholic defensive front, Kevin. And when you run the end around, I find the Colonel fit it very, very well. A big third down and 11 now. Cubs yep. can have pretty good field position. They've got to hold on right here. Back to throw goes East Step. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Throw down the middle for Liss. Incomplete. Good defensive play. Jumping Pfeiffer. up to knock it away with Ryan Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer was playing the center field position, the deep safety, and Liss was wide open. That's a punt it away. 5:37 left to go in the second quarter. It's Beachwood 14, Covington Catholic 7. Wolfback back to punt it away. It's a high snap, but it's over Wolfback's head, and then they go out of the end zone. Go out of the end zone, and it will be a safety. Wow! Again, special teams hurt the homestanding Beachwood Tigers. High snap, Wolfback with no chance to pull that one down and make something happen into the end zone to make it 14 to nine. Covington got it in his hand. Well, he was going to he he was, he was practice again, and everybody else thought he, thought he was going to kick it. Okay, he, we'll go back and reset it. Free kick from his own 20-yard line. Kevin and Catholic has a chance now to claim the lead going in to the halftime locker room. A low line drive kick should be returnable. Roach just bounces off his shoulder pad. Now he'll pick it up to the 30, to the 35, still on his feet to the 40, and to the 45-yard line. Good field position. A free kick of 50 yards. But a pretty good return by yep. Roach to around the 46, and Covenant Catholic will have the football with 5.28 left to go. Ball at the 46, wide outs to both sides. Looks like this side to the far side is Brian Voorhees. Yep. 
to the near is Haller. And Keyes will go back to throw it on the play. Actually looks downfield. He's got four. He's wide open with the no incomplete he at the 20 yard line. Randy, that was a catchable ball. Boy, he yes, had to was. come down with that one. It hit him right in the hands. He tried to bring it down to his body and hit the turf incomplete. Pattern Kevin. He blew by them like they were standing still. He was wide open. They got the ball to him, but he could not bring it down. Yeah, and probably see that play later on in this contest. 521 left in quarter number one. It is Beachwood 14, the Covington Catholic Colonels 9. Like the call though from the Colonels. Again, I think they've got to establish the pass to set up the running game. Second down and 10 with the ball at the 45 yard line. Back to throw keys. No, the draw. To bad. To the 50. To the 45. And knocked out of bounds. Though still on his feet. And it does go out of bounds. And, and we got a penalty yep. flag. And that might be a face mask. No. Nope. It's, it's, it's going to be, it's gonna be on Summy of Covington Catholic. It's oh, going to okay. penalize the Colonels. It's going to nullify the big game. Right on the flag. They're going to mark him out at around the 45. Yeah, is that what you mark. saw down there, Mike? I uh, it was on Summy. It was, I was right behind it when it did have to be something offensively. Yep. Yep. Holding on Summy. That's just inexcusable, if you ask me. Yep. Yep. Taking a, taking a little summertime smooth. A little siesta. Yes, sir. But it didn't cost them. Nope. Second down and 16. Wide out both sides. Big Dermot, the lone back in the backfield. Double slot. Back to throw goes Keyes. Looks downfield. Throws the fly pattern to the right for Haller. Haller at the 30. Gathers it in. Nice catch by Haller at the 31-yard line. Coyle had the coverage. And Haller falling away. Gathers it in. A catch of some 30 yards. And that'll be it. And it was a little bit behind him. He had great presence of mind to catch it as he fell to the ground. Tuck it in and roll. That was a very good reception. Here comes Madden again for the Colonels, I bet you. At the 31, here's the hand off the bed to the 30, to the 25, spins around the 20-yard line, brought down at the 21 by Wolfback. Let me tell you, the pass sets up the run for the Colonels this year. That'll bring up the second down in the second quarter of play is Beachwood 14, Covington Catholic 9. Second down and one from the 21. Wide out to both sides. High formation on this second and one. Keys on the keeper to the left, looking for some running room. Will be brought down, shy of the first down, I believe, by Josh Morris. The flag is down right at the 20-yard line. Going to be holding again against the Colonels, I think, Michael. On the interior of the Colonel line. That's where it looks like from here. And that is indeed the call. Yep. The Colonels are shooting themselves right in the foot to have that. Again, though, I would expect the ball to go back to Reardon's hands. He has been relatively quiet here as of late. Second and 10 from the 30. Keys will go back to throw. Pump fake. Looks. Throws over the middle. Incomplete over the head of the intended receiver hauler at around the 15-yard line. Now there's Taylor on Jared Key, 6 of 12. Put Mike Woods on that assignment. Mike, we put him on it for the past couple of weeks. <laughs> Third down and 10, ball at the 30, Keys, oh. ball play to Madden, kicked it to the outside, Fumble. ball was loses He's the got football, got, got it. it back, but did not make the first down mm. to the 29-yard line, will bring up a third down and nine in decision time with the ball at the 29, four later right. He'll go for it. Well, I guess so, and it's really not much of a... It was pointing up in the air, and I had a perfect position to watch, it just took off. Well, he was early time-wise with the throw. Big fourth down and nine. Tandem to the near side. Tandem to both sides. And Keyes will go back to throw the football. Getting pressure from the right side. Looks down. Field throws and incomplete. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver over at the 14-yard line. That was Lanham. And he could not gather it in as he dove to try to catch it tight roping the sideline. 72. That's that Holderman. Holderman. Yeah, Holderman switches for whatever okay. reason. He'll be 72 one week, 90 right. on the next week. That was Holderman trying to run him down. Yep. Good player. Pressure on. Here's the handoff. Here's the fumble. Here's the fumble. Colonel Catholic's got it. Wolfbeck lost the football. Yep, the Colonel's all over that football. And coming up with it this time is number 33 for the Covington Catholic Colonels. Pat and that McDermott. would be Pat McDermott. First turnover of the football game. Covington Catholic has to score a touchdown on this possession. Uh, I think Beachwood is the club that has all the momentum going into the halftime locker room. Ball at the 34-yard line. Wide out to both sides in the eye. Back to throw goes Keys. Pump fake. He'll look long. Throw right Reardon. side. Got Reardon at the 20. To the 15. He's to the 10. Inside the 10 and brought down at the Seven yard line. 27 yard pass play and Reardon with a nice catch. Going backwards, Mike, and good concentration by the tight end. Excellent concentration. He was still up, up with Reardon. But let me tell you something. Beachwood's goal line defense is pretty stingy. The Colonels haven't punched it in yet. First and goal from the eight yard line. Tilt cap on the drive. 220 to go. First half. Here's the handoff. Boy, right side. He's at a five yard line and brought down right there. Schachter, one of the players in on the stop. Also Morris. Yep. Josh Morris, one of the linebackers. 
Down to the five, second down and goal to go from the four. Double tight. And Bulls has actually lined up as a tight end, McDermott and Schneider in front of Madden. And now I believe we've got a timeout on the field. It is taken by the Beachwood Tigers, their second. The Federal, the Urban Vet Company, and St. Luke Sports Medicine. Halftime score, the Boone County Rebels lead the LaSalle Lancers 7 to nothing. Second down, goal to go for the five. Here's the handoff to Man. He is rocked up for the backfield by Schechter at around the seven-yard line. And that'll bring up the third down and goal to go from the seven. That was great. Yeah, two downs to get into the end zone, but I think you got to throw the ball now, don't you? I think so. They're still in the double tight formation. Yep, but you better watch Reardon. Yep. Third down and goal to go from the seven. Maybe throw it to Wolf. He's a senior. Keys will give it off to Foy. Right side, down close to the end zone at about the two-yard line. So a nice gain of five. Wolf back in on the stop, but it's going to bring up a fourth down and goal to go for the two. I think he kicks the field goal. Five eight. You're listening to the Star Sports Radio Network on the Gospel 1320 WCBG Covington. Big fourth down and three. Keys underneath, full house backfield. Underneath, giving it off right side. Men leaping, diving, touchdown! Man wow. off the right side as he took off to the heavens and came down in the end zone. Let me tell you something. That is a gutsy, gutsy call by Lynn Ray, and it pays dividends for the Colonels. Quite honestly, I don't want to in second guessing, Ray, but I thought they should have kicked the field goal, got the momentum back, but that turned out to be even bigger for the Cubs. Yes, Colonels, good play call, and like you said, Madden got high and brought down six points for the Colonels. Rubbing over big Ryan Kendall, 6'2", 265, and getting into the end zone, and coming to cap, it goes up 15 to 14. So the Colonels cash in on the turnover as well. Here's a snap on the tee, kick is up, and it is good. 16-14, Cubs cap on top. We'll be back on the Star Sports Radio Network. Call 578-6154 now. Team score was, I agree, you got to go for two and get a three-point cushion. Really, two points does nothing in this particular right. situation, but again, a gutsy, gutsy call on fourth down and goal to go from the three-yard line, and the Colonels bring home the bacon with Jeremy Madden, his second touchdown of the night. Schechter, Coyle, and Wolfack are standing back. Gets will put the toe into it. It'll be a low squib Josh kick. Morris. One of the up men. Morris gathers in at his 20-yard line. Of the 25, he's to the 30. And brought down at the 32. Oh, he, had, wow. he had two hands on the football, Kevin. And the kicker, Kevin, Kevin Depp got him. And that's not the way Doug Pelfrey tackles for the Cincinnati Bengals. Each one looks to do. I think they're, well, it looks like they're going to try to run it out. And they look like they're going to look like way back. Looks like they are. Hmm. Hmm. And... East up takes an E with 51 seconds left to go in the first half. Well, what do you think, Randy? I mean, again, we thought it would be a close call. Well, they're just basically running out the clock, so they had no offensive to but speak of in the second quarter. Now has the football to start the right. second half. And taking a knee again down to 22 seconds. That should do it. But just absolutely, as you know, we mentioned how explosive they were in the first quarter. That's a half. And well, the Catholic lead 16 to 14. Mike, what do you got? Uh, you got the numbers on the scoreboard. What's the first thing you're going to tell them? Oh, well, after we quit messing around with the reverses, I settled down with pretty decent defense. Certainly, the fine children is here. Beachwood doing a great job. They've had an awful lot to be proud of over the past six years with this football team winning five of the six single eight state championships. Coyle, Wolfback, and Schechter standing back at the five as we're set for third quarter action with Covenant Catholic on top by two. Getz puts the toe into it. This is going to come down to Wolfback at around the eight. He to the 10, to the 15, to the 20-yard line, and upended at the 21-yard line. Good tackle there by Brian Voorhees as he upends Wolfback. And with the ball up to 21, we'll see what Beachwood can do in the third quarter. And this is where Beachwood excels when they've got the odd long ball. First and 10, ball at the 21-yard line. Lone back in the backfield is Bishop. Double slot. Now Coyle will go in motion. He steps, puts the football on the keeper and brought down at around the 23-yard line. A gain of maybe two. That'll bring up the second and eight. Mark Applegate in on the stop. A nice touchdown pass. Chris Redmond twice through eight. Yep. Second down and eight, ball at the 24. East step will give it off. Left side, Coyle looking for some running room. They shut that down, and the coming to Catholic defense now becoming a force. Beecham was there. Matt Day also in on the stop tonight. Well, Harden 
later in the season, plays Beachwood, do they not? Yeah. I don't know if they're going to count on the book tonight or not, Kevin. They're playing Fort Knox tonight. Goes East down. Step. East step will go back. He'll go over the right. Look down. Kaiser. Kaiser. Kaiser at the 40-yard line. Gathers it in. Sliding down with the catch at the 43. Beautiful pass play that time. A 32-yard pickup. Yeah, that's Kaiser. 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 Beachwood Tigers. So Pfeiffer will return to the lineup. Ford Winrays coming to Kevin Colonels. Ball at the 44. Beachwood on the move. Tandem to the near side. It'll be Coyle in the slot. Mueller the wide out. Here's the handoff straight up the gut. Looks like he's to the 40-yard line. Tries to take it to the outside. It's brought down by Voorhees at the 39. Gain of about four. Bring up a second down. We continue to say that the quarterback for coming to Kevin probably will be the key. Jared Keyes as the game winds on down. Second down and six. Back to throw Coyle with the He's catch down. the out. He's down. One knee. Went to one knee to catch the football. Yep. Lost those four yards on that second down play. They threw the quick out to the outside, and you're right. It was actually a lateral as it was thrown by. He backs there defensively for Kevin Kevin. He'll have to be here. But I think that's where Beachwood's going to attack. They threw him the football to Julie Lewis there a couple times tonight. Big third and ten. Wide out to the near side is Kaiser. And back to throw goes East Step. He'll throw down the middle. Knock up in the air and incomplete. McDermott got a hand on it. They were trying to go to Lewis on the crossing pattern at the 35. The Tigers feel that they can move the football in the Colonels. It's whether or not the defense can hold the Cubs to offensive attack. Wolfex at the punt. Standing at the 45. He gets the snap this time and does punt it away. Wobbly kick. will bounce at the 15. Take a Beachwood roll, but will roll into the end zone. A punt of 44 yards, but a net of just 24. They'll bring it out to the 20 yard line and coming in Catholic Lab at first and 10. They lead 16 to 14. Well, all at the 20 yard line. Coming in Catholic. It'll be fully behind the young man this time again. In the eye formation for Cubs Wide Wide out to both sides of this first down from the 20. Here's the handoff to Foley. Cutting it off to the left side. He's to the 25-yard line. And brought down. Right there at the 25. A gain of five. Going to bring up a second down. What do you got for us, Mike Woods? I just talked to uh, Marshall and Gene. Time for him at the middle linebacker slot. And Shocker comes in the football game. And will be an outside linebacker for Mike Eagle Tigers. Second down and five. Ball at the 25. Shocker is in there now. And with the straight up the middle, McDermott to the 35 yard line and to the 40. That'll be enough for a first down. They'll move the sticks just shy of the 40 yard line as we'll mark it to 39. And coming to Catholic, running the football straight up the middle, the quick hitter. All the way right out to the far side, Lamb in a slot and the eye formation. McDermott in Surrey in the backfield. He's underneath on first down from the 39, and the handoff again to Foley. Cuts it off the left side, and this time he has wrapped up a little dirt. Does manage to get about a yard. Joey lifted on the stop. They'll mark it at the 41-yard line. A good job by Foley to really make a little bit out of nothing. Yeah, yeah. good hustle by Foley on the far side of the field. Gun hasn't sounded yet. Right about right. 16-14. Tandem's down to the near side. And really just single coverage over here offered by Coyle. Coyle barking out some instructions. Hope that should pass on an audible. Back to throw goes Keys. A throw wide out. Haller makes a diving catch. Nice catch by Haller. But at the 46-yard line, he had to go down to the turf, Kevin, and, and hit it. it. When nobody covered him, Randy. Five-yard pickup on a play that could have gone in. He's got everybody covered that goes out wide through the company Kevin Colonels. Clock. Third and four. 6.20 left to go in the third quarter. Cubs down four by two. He's got a penalty now, and this will be offside. Was it Matricia that jumped off side? Sure. I think Matricia was tied up offside. So Beachwood is going to go back to Sports Central. Jeff Irwin, what do you have for us? We'll pause for station identification on the Star Sports Radio Network. This is the Control. Coming to Kevin. Also in control. They'll get a first down after the offside penalty against the Tigers. Ball inside. Beachwood territory at the 49. High formation. Keith goes back to throw. Pump the left. Throws over the middle. Hall of wide open and over his head and incomplete. My goodness. Hall of wide open running that pattern, Kevin. It's right, right across the middle, 35-yard line. I mean, that's just front foot when he steps into it. is isn't going the direction of the ball, and he's still releasing a little too early, I think. Of course, I'm not on the coaching team, but that's what it looks like from here. Second down, Keys now on the option with the football. He's at the 45-yard line inside the field. He's on his feet to the 40, to the 35, and brought down and around the 33-yard line. Noah Schachter finally grabbing him and slamming him to the turf, but a nice run by Jared Keys to about the 33-yard line. Well, you right. got to take care of the ball. Yeah, ball first, right? Yeah, you got to. Ball first, you can forget about everything else. First and 10 at the 33, right out to both sides of the eye formation. Come camp on the drive. Here's the hand off the Philly, up the middle. He's to the 30-yard line, fighting his way to around the 29. And coming in Catholic, 
Once again, a nice sustained drive, keeping the football out of the hands of the Beachwood Tigers and moving down the field. Yep, they moved them around. 21 kick, another extra point. You go up nine instead of eight. I still think that was a technical error on the Colonel's part. Second down and six. Wide out to both sides. Here's the handoff to oh. Bowie. Bowie with the football, tripped up at the 28. Actually tripped up first in the backfield by his quarterback, Keyes, and then fell forward for a couple of extra, but took a long time in developing, and Dan Woolley makes the stop at around the 20. Third down and four. Ball at the 27. High formation. Wide out both sides on the third and four. Keyes. Play action. Keeping it roll to the left. Trying to cut to the outside, and Schechter will wrestle him down at around the 25-yard line. It'll be fourth down again. Decision time for Winway and the Colonels. Really fourth down in about three. The fans, what are here in attendance saying? Let's get this first down in a couple more. Big fourth down and two. Tandem's on the near side. Load right out of the corner. To the far. Out of the shotgun. He just snapped the keys. He'll keep the football. Holderman. But he will not make it as Holderman. Grabs on and holds on tight for everybody else to come and finish keys off at the 30. Excellent defense by Hoverman. They sense the quarterback draw right out of the shoot. And I don't think Jerry Keys, Mike, held his position long enough and served the draw. No, he didn't. He was a little anxious. 27 left to go in the third quarter of play. First and 10 from the Beachwood 30 yard line. Right out to the far side of the eye formation. Here's the pitch to Coyle. Looking to the right. Looking for some running room. To the 30, still on his feet and run out of bounds. At around the 35, in on the stop, Brian Voorhees. So Quill now 5 carries 64 yards on the night. And Adam Wolfe, our has only carried the football seven in a fun football game here tonight, though. Yep. Kaiser to the far. Coyle to the near. I think Beach was really trying to get the ball in Wolfe's hands to the near side, the wide side of the field. Wolfe will go in motion now on this second down. Quick hitter over the middle for Lift. Incomplete. Knocked down. Battled down by Wolfe. Good play by Wolf. Try to go to Lift on the two-step drop throw over the middle. Of the They've got an awful lot of big play possibility, and they just need to hook up once, and that could have the Colonels reeling. Kaiser to the near side. And I'd be worried about that matchup. Single coverage on him by Beecham. East step will roll to the left. Now looks, pump, looks downfield. He'll pull it down, try to buy some time. Still looking, still looking. He'll fire it up for grabs, and it'll be it. incomplete. Yeah, he bought himself a lot of yeah, time. That time. Great coverage oh, back there by Pfeiffer. Kaiser's looking for a holding call against Pfeiffer, but a good yeah, right. call right there. Now, if anything, that's offensive. In my opinion, the toughest position to play, maybe not at the high school level, but the, yep, the cornerback position yeah. at the college level, and especially at the professional level, you are out there on an island. Wolf X set the punt away. Here's the snap. Gathers it in, punts it away. Foley trying to make the catch. It does hit him in the hand as it rolls back to the 15 yard line. And now we'll throw him out of bounds inside the 15. Not a real good job, smart move by Foley there. He stuck his hand out. I mean, you can't really gather that in with one hand. A punt of 50 which stands on night four Cubs cast. Once again, McDermott will be in front of them in the eye formation. First down from the 11 yard line. Keys under. Don't roll. Give it off. Man. Cuts back across the game. Gray to the 15. He's to the 20. He's in the open territory. To the 35. To the 40. He's across the field. Back. To the 40. Cuts it inside. One man to beat. Down the sideline. Looking and finally Good. catching up. Kaiser. In coil. 10. And around the seven yard line. Scott Coyle finally gathers in that. What a huge, huge run. Down to around the outside. Outran everybody. Then cut it back across the green and into the middle. And Coyle finally ran him down. First and goal to go to they're not in yet. Great tackle by Coyle. Here's the handoff. Man left side inside the five, weaving his way to around the three. And am I right? They're not in yet, brother. They're not. Great hustle by Coyle. And for all the youngsters that might be listening tonight, Scott Coyle never gave up on that play. But no, I like to sing the songs repeatedly. I like to go to church. You should pick up on that. He's underneath from his second down. Here's the hand off the man around the right side, trying to bull his way into the end zone. He's close, but not there yet. To the back the one yard line. Go down, go to go from the two. They actually got it there. Inside the point, up into the two, you're right. Third and two, full house backfield and a power eye. Keys will give it off the bat. Huge hole off the left side. Touchdown. His third of the night. My goodness, Kurt Dillon and Kevin Getz, give them credit. They just opened up a huge hole, and Madden barely touched as he went in from two yards out. Well, Madden now 14 carries, 150 yards in all three. Colonel touchdowns tonight. 22-14. 
That was a huge drive, Randy. Don't forget that third at the Cub Cap 11-yard line. Covenant Catholic by eight with 2.24 to go in the third. Big extra point right here. Takes it from an eight-point lead to a nine if they convert. Out of the hold of Keys. On the tee, kick is up, and it is good. 23-14, Cubcast by nine, 2.24 to go in the third, and we'll be back on the Star Sports Radio Network. Four times. He scored three touchdowns tonight. Keep that in mind. Kevin Getz in. It looks like they all lined up ready to kick it. Now they're going to re-huddle. And do you want me to tell you again about Scott Coyle and his Go ahead. Why don't you tell us okay. again, Kevin? He has the ability, certainly, to run it back for a touchdown. Just needs a couple of good blocks, and you saw his speed when he caught Jeremy Madden from behind. Thank you so much. Did you not? I did. He fuddled as you hear with your own histrionic. Here's the kick from Getz. It will bounce in the 10. <laughs> Coyle will gather it at the 5, to the 15, to the 20. Oh, oh he's hammered at the 23-yard line. Hello, Voorhees. Check that. Wow. That is David Batty. Batty. Each with Tigers. Right now down by nine points. 23 to 14 to the visiting company camp at Colonels. 2.20 left to go in the third quarter. First and 10, ball out to 24. He stepped. He's yes. give it off the left. He's going to throw the football. Looks down foot. Now he'll put it down and run. He's around the 29 and the 30-yard line and brought down after 30. As he was looking to go up top to Kaiser, pretty good coverage by Beecham in the secondary. And Liss pulled it down and decided to run the football. Again. His two-hand off and looks to pass. Well, of course, when you got the, the ball in the hands of a guy like, like Liz, you know he can tuck it and run it there. Yeah, he can pull the baseball off a long way in an awfully accurate way as well. Second and four. Pop pass yeah. over the middle of the list. He's at the 40-yard line and up for the first down of the 43. That time, he kept hooking up with Liz. No hands in the way to bat it down. And Liz gathers it in for the 43. Yep, Liz now three catches, 33 yards on the night. First and 10. I did down on the football field saying, Kevin Kelly needs to hit list when he leaves the line of scrimmage. Yeah, well, the slot. yeah they, they had all kind of confusion. Coyle was in the slot. Mueller was the left on the radio dial, and East Cup brings up the troops to the line of scrimmage. Same formation. First and 10 from the 43. East Cup will give it off the wolf back up the middle of the 45. He's to the 50 yard line across midfield. It dies forward to the 43. 14 yard pickup by Adam Wolfsack. Gives in 86 yards in the night on eight series, and Wolfsack's a little. A smart young man. Come on. They better remember they've got 13 more minutes of football left to be played. Wide side is Coyle on the tandems. Here's the handoff to Wolfpack to the right, and he is smothered. And that big number 96, Tim Wolf. The ref is paws around it. Coyle will affect to the turf and a loss of one to the 44. Number Perhaps quickly forgetting that they've won five or six <laughs> life state championships. Kaiser. To the outside on the second down, back to throw goes East Step, lifts downfield, throws yes. downfield, lifts in and out of his hands at the 27 yard line. He had to turn around to gather that one in, but had his hands on it and he should have brought it in. Yeah, it was I think the offensive times was very good for Beachwood tonight. As you mentioned earlier, they just haven't been on the football field enough. Third and ten from the 43, wide outs to both sides. Kaiser working on Beachwood to the near side. Man in motion, East Step will go back to throw the football, pump fakes, throws, Coyle. on for Coyle. Coyle will get it in at the 25, he's at the 20, and knocks down at the 18 yard line. The penalty marker is down, back at the 50, and I think this one is coming back. Might be on Josh Bishop. We'll go back to the Tigers. Mike, you were down on the football field. Did Bishop hold? That's, that's just, I just, his. So we'll bring it back. I think Covenant Catholic also might have got away with a little hold on the yeah, yeah, receiver. Coyle. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think Coyle was held. No penalty flag there, but Coyle did a great job of catching the football nevertheless. The, guys, the thing that's really that's ironic about the hold is when he reached up. I think Beach would... Uh, Really, it's going to take a miraculous play to pick up first down yards on this one, and I think the third quarter is going to expire, and Beachwood's just going to let it run out. So we'll head to the fourth and final stanza. Coming in, Catholic, up by nine points, 23 to 14. This is the feature game of the week right here on the Star Sports Radio Network. <laughs> on the board, and a big third and 30. So you just got to hope for the best here. Coming in, Catholic, back in two deep zone territory. Foley and Pfeiffer, the two deep safeties. Boyle will go in motion. Tandem to the far side. East step will throw the wide out outside. Kaiser, he'll throw left down that. the field for Wolfrack. Knocked down. Pfeiffer. Incomplete. Pfeiffer was right there. As Coyle, they threw it to the outside. We've seen him run that play a couple of times. They throw it really on a... Covenant Catholic did not bite on that. No, they did. Not at all. Good defense by 
Pfeiffer of keeping his position back at the deep safety spot. Fourth and 30, Wolfpack, here's a low snap. Look out, Jags. He'll gather it in and finally get it away. It will bounce at the 29-yard line and will take a Beachwood roll inside the 20 and will still roll to about the 15. 49-yard punt by Wolfpack in traffic. My goodness, it's been an adventure regardless of what happens here, Kevin. Mike Gates will be the back. It is. Good. <laughs> First and 10, ball at the 15. Hand off, McDermott, up the middle, no one else. Joey Lewis, Latricia, yep. and the rest of the gang. That'll bring up a second down and 10. Okay. That'll we'll have two left teams in their district this year. Carroll County and Owen County both gone. Lucky for them. Yeah. Second and 10. Here's the handoff. Left side, boy. He is wrapped up by Holderman and will be brought down. Goodness. Last back to around the 11 yard line. Holderman in the backfield in a major hurry once again. He's a tough player. I think he's got good size, good speed from his defensive end slot. That's going to bring up a third down and 13. And the Tigers might try to come after a tough block of their own. McDermott's a lone back in the backfield on this third and 13. Keys in the back to throw to football. Looks downfield, throws over the middle, hooks up with his receiver, shy of the first down at around the 22-yard line. That's a catch made by Roach, but once again, having to go flat out for the football. They'll mark him at the 21. At one deep safety. Scott Taylor now for Beachwood, his opposite number, number nine. Jerry Keys doing the punting for Coquette. Beachwood smelling a fake. Here's the snap to Keys, and Keys will punt it away. At the 43, Coyle, he's to the 45, he's to midfield, to the 45, to the outside, down the sideline, to the 30, to the 25, and brought down at the 21-yard line. What did he say about Rich? I forget what he said about Rich earlier in the game. I'm sorry, about Coyle. Who are you talking about? I don't know, I'm just stunned by the whole I was, development. I wasn't sure what you'd put at 22. And I think this has got to try to strike quickly. I'd go after the end zone on the first down for the Kaiser. He's Wide. working on Beecham. Wide out to both sides, Coyle to the near, Kaiser to the far. Man in motion will go coil. He steps, giving it off to Wolfpack up the gut. A yard, and that is it for the 20. Second down and nine. Wolfpack up to 87 yards on the night. Great field position. The Beecher has now got to take advantage of it, Randy. We've seen the struggles that Beecher has had special teams-wise. Wolfpack's got a big fit. But they have trouble putting the ball down for him. Second and nine. He step will roll to the left and look downfield. And he'll throw back across his body, incomplete, at the eight-yard line, uh, and he got a flat. Let me tell you something. Well, the LC can run the up. I smell something from the back judge. It's a penalty flag, Mike. What do you see? Oh, uh, I, I, I'm not going to say a word. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That's a bad pass. That was an okay, awful pass. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, that that's terrible. That, well, wait a minute. Now, this is back to our uncatchable ball situation, which apparently cannot be caught at the high school level. Right. But how in the world can you cut pass in if you're not on that play? I have no idea. That's a, they went straight up in the air. Yeah. Nobody yeah. was going in. Three people were standing there. Yeah. All three of them jumped up in the air. You, you call it whatever you want. Right. And, Mercy. Let me tell you something, and I just would like everyone in there that the back judge, Dan Hawthorne, is the guy that came up and was giving us some instructions before the game. Well, Dan, <laughs> you better watch the videotape in this game, That's buddy, because that was a poor call. Mm. First and 10 from the 10. Underneath is East Step. They'll give it off right side to Wolfpack, fighting for some yardage. He didn't get any. Just to the 10, and that is all. Now we got a late flag, I believe. Or is that, he's going to mark the spot with that. I think yeah. that might have been the bean bag. Well, that was some good defense right there by coming and Cal, I guess, with the poor call. Sometimes you can't have a different angle when you're in the broadcast booth, but Mike is down on the field, and he thought it was a poor call as well. Second and 10. He step will roll to the left, looks downfield, throws into the end zone. Touchdown! No! No, he dropped it's it. Incomplete! He and dropped it. Good pass. And that was, I believe, Wolfpack in the back yep, of the end zone. He, just yes, lost he lost the football. He had it in his hand and could not hold on. That's on chase from behind by Fight. Paging service. Paging service. I don't Third. know what's going on. Third and 10, we got a football game to draw to. Just with the football to Colonel Penn. Kaiser on the far side on the big third and 10. Here's the inside reverse. No, he stepped with a football, looks at the yeah. end zone, face with touchdown! They start touchdown catch of the night! Yeah. The Beachwood Tigers have cut the lead once again. Lusk and Wolfpack were both there standing next to each other. And Wolfpack gave way to Lusk and Lusk gathered it in. Great fake by East Step. Looked like they were going to run the inside handoff. The crew coming around. Let me tell you, a big play on that drive, though. The pass interference call against the Colonel. 
Yes, indeed. 23-20. They can cut it to two here. Haynes. On the tee. Kick is up. And it is good. 23-21. 732 to play. Cupcast still on top by two, and we'll be back on the start. Over the head of the punter, Will Beck. That's the two-point differential in this contest. I swear we'll continue with my keys of the game. Jared Keys and his consistency down the stretch where it's just time right now. And ready to punt, ready to kick it away. Is Will Beck waiting on the official crowd. And now here we go. Will Beck gets it to win it. Moves it long and deep. Madden in the end zone. Loses control of it. We'll gather it back in. And we'll bring it to the 20 and Covington Catholic will have it first and 10 with 742 to play. And which platoon is in this time? The Madden platoon? Yep. Okay, I think the two linebacker is out. We do a First and 10 from the 20 yard line. Kenny Kinsella in the ball game right now for the Tigers. Here's the handball straight up the middle. McDermott, he is stuck right at the line of scrimmage at the 20. And that'll bring up the second down and 10. Getting up off the bottom of the pile. Kinsella and Willie. Willie's been tough tonight. Let me see. Second down and 10 with a ball at the 20-yard line. Heller to the far side in the eye formation. Madden the tailback. Here's the handoff from Madden to the right. Since the running run to the 25 and brought down at the 26 and a football. But what are they going to call? Down by contact at the 26-yard line. He left the foot there, but the ground calls it. And it'll bring up a third down and four. What about it, Mike? Yeah, it looks like a good call right here on the line. As they flung it, it's going to be in the hands. I think you're going to throw it. I was going to say man, but he's had up in the slot. I think you're going to throw it. Double slots, double wide outs on this third down and four. He's going to go back to throw the football. Looks down. Philly's got a man wide open. That's something in and out of his hands. That's and a 32-yard line. And let me tell you something. You can talk all about Jared Keys all you want. Chad Summy. Heard footsteps. He should have caught that football, and it should have been a curl first down. Chad Summy not doing his job on that play. Job is to get to the open spot and make sure you catch that football. That's the bottom line. Again, special teams. Good play. Huge punt time for the curl. Wolfack and Coyle are back. Here's the punt. It will come down to Wolfack at the 40-yard line. Gathers it in. Actually, a nice catch by Wolfack on the run at around the 43. A punt of 33 yards. Beachwood will have the football first and 10. Pretty good field position for the final half quarter of play. Ball at the 43-yard line. Tandem to the far side. First down. High formation. Handoff. Wolf back up the gut to around the 44, 45-yard line. Loses the football, but down by contact at the 46. McDermott in on the stop. A gain of two will bring up the second down and eight. And make sure they know where Jerry List is on every single play. They're nuts. They've also got to watch Wolf back there. Hill in the slot, Kaiser the wide out, second down. Handoff up to gut the wolf back again. Fall forward about the 48. That's going to bring up the third down at about five. And on the stop, Jason Arlinghouse. Arlinghouse taking the place of German. Chip on the far side of the ball. Beachin on Kaiser. It's been a good one tonight. Really won by Beachin. But Kaiser has breakaway speed. Double slot. Third down. He's stepping the back to throw the football. Heavy pressure. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 38-yard line. Mark Applegate in there on the sack. Back to the 38. A big play by the defense of Covington Catholic. Huge. Damn. Madden and Foley standing back at around the 25-yard line. Wolfpack has the ability to punt off some boomers. Low snap. Wolfpack gathers it in. Punts it. Line drive will come down to Foley at the 23. Loses the football. It's on the turf. Still on the turf. And Beach has got the football. And it's going to be Josh Morris with it. Foley did exactly the cardinal sin, which we talked about prior to the kick. He put the ball in the turf. Josh Morris, Johnny on the spot. Beach one first and good. Here come the Tigers. At the 8. 18-yard line is where they will mark it. It just went right through Foley's hands. Well, let me tell you something, Randy. Say what you will. Kennedy Catholic in the last couple minutes choking. Chad Tummy missed the ball. He should have caught. Choke. Don Foley should have caught that football on the punt. Choke. Beachwood got it. This is why Beachwood wins state championships. They got the football. They need to convert. First and 10 from the 18-yard line. Power eye, hand off the coil, left side. He's to the 15-yard line, inside the 15 and near the 14. Put 413 to play. And don't forget, a field goal wins it. But don't forget, they got to get it on the tee. 15-yard line. He's talking about the house. Wolfpack's going to get the ball this time. Here's the hand off to Wolfpack, straight up the middle to near the 10-yard line. Just shy of the 10. 
Real fast now. Up a third down and two. 14 carries, 95 yards, three turnovers. And they had a nine-point lead with seven minutes left. Yep. Third down and two from the 10. Got to get a little fast. Hand off the quill up the middle, and maybe enough for the first down. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a measurement. No, I think it's going to be short, maybe. At the nine, Mike Woods, you're down it's there. It's short, yeah, it is short. They're calling fourth down. Well, how, how, many, it's, how, it's, how close it's, is it? It's, is that, yeah, that's, that's right. They ought to measure. I it from this side on the crown where they've got it marked. I can't see over the crown, but it's... it's it's awful, awful close. Well, what do you do, Mike, if it's, if it's fourth down and short? Do you kick the field goal here, or do you go for it? Uh, with Adam Wolfsack, I kick field goal. We got it! With only about, well, we'll see how short it is. Yeah. It's going to be close. No, I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to be about an inch short. I can go for it. I, I think can go, go for it, too. I mean, if you can't pick up that yards, you got to go for it. To be honest with you, the way the staff has been, Mike. Uh, this has been a good one. Listen to Randy's call. And it's fourth down and less than the yard to go for Beachwood. From the nine-yard line, fourth down and inches. He stepped underneath. He will dive for it. He will make the first down. Right over Ellicott Kinsella. And I believe that was probably, I think that's really over now, going out for guard position. That's his gentleman. They had to move him over, and it is enough for the first down. It'll be first. And everything going to be towards way right now. They just can't afford a turnover. First and goal to go from the seven-yard line. He's up underneath, giving it off the curl. Left the left side. He's to the five, inside the five-yard line. And they're around the four. Tom Beecham in on the stop. And Mike Woods up there at the four-yard line. or close. Second down, goal to go for the three. Right about three. Right. In the power line. Here's the handoff right side to Wolfpack. He's still wrong, but falls forward close to the goal line. He's going to be just shy. Randy, all this helps Beachwood. Time keeps on ticking. And it will be marked down at around the water inside the one-yard line. Actually, it'll be third down and goal to go from inside the one. To come back on the Tigers. They're letting time run down. This, is, down. this is a huge play right here. I just... Keep it with the quarterback. What do you think? Yep. Third down. He step underneath. Third down. Go to go from the one yard line. He step. He leans forward. I don't think he got he it. Didn't. Kevin. He didn't. The quarterback keeper. And they stuffed him at the line of scrimmage. And now it's decision time for Mike Eagle. I kick the. I kick it. Yeah. But you know it's, an Mike extra, is. it's an extra point. It is an extra point. But the ball is in the far hash mark though. But Will Fink is a left footed kicker. 50 going for it. You're right. Third down. Go to go. Here's the ball game. Start penetration. Here's the handoff, right side, Wolfpack diving, touchdown! Count it, baby! And the right back. side, Wolfpack goes into the air and scores over the right side. That was over Willie and Hodeman for the score as he leaps into the air and Beachwood has taken the lead with 21 seconds to play. Wolfpack cashes in the Beachwood, crazy going nuts again. 27-23, Beachwood by four. He's telling me Kevin has to feel sick getting by the Beachwood Tigers. Everything went wrong for Coveney County in a span of seven minutes. Yep, it was their own fault, Randy. Nobody's fault but the folks in white, blue, and red. And a bad call. And one bad call. You're right. Wolf back in to attempt the extra point. Let's see if he would have made it. Snap on the tee. Kick is up. And it is good. 28-23. 21 seconds to play. We'll be back on the Star Sports Radio Network. Funny play. I mean, you've got two plays that should not have been made that really, really gave Beachwood all the momentum as well as the bad call, and things really fell apart in the last seven minutes for coming to Yep, yeah, we'll be talking about that, but still time and coming to Kevin can get a good run back, but they trail by five points now. The Colonels will take this kickoff return right to left on your radio dial, and Wolfeck has really been putting it out of return right. of the range. Wolfeck looking to put this one into the end zone. Let's see if he does. No, he'll kick it and strip it on the ground. It will come into the hands of Roach. He'll pick it up at the 15. He's to the 20. He's down the sideline. To the 35. To the 40. He's to the 50. To the 45. And brought down from behind at the 41. Josh line. Morris with the tackle, Randy. He <laughs> pick up the fumble football. There's 12 seconds left. Kevin, where in the world was the wall on the right side? And defensively. Tyler, right out to the far side. I think you got to throw the ball for Madden. Beach is going to have enough players on the field. Now nope. Beach will finally come into the lineup. And Beach will play in two deep zone, Randy, with Wolfsack and quarterback. Now not the play. Play. This will be on the Colonels. Yeah, this is going to be on the Colonels, and yep. I think it's a it legal be substitution. And that's exactly yep. right. Because yep. Beach was not in the game when they came up underneath center, and then they just threw him in there because yep. they needed another player. That's a good call. That's the exact type of call. 
And and actually, the on the Colonel. And actually, it wasn't Beecham's fault. No. It was Roach's fault. It was supposed to be in the ball game. Yep. Coach Miller said that they didn't have 11 on the field, and he had to throw Beecham in there because he was standing next to him. How does that happen? I mean, I'm just asking a question. How does that happen? He just had a time out. And that will move it back to the 47-yard line. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that noise down on the football field. <laughs> First down from the 46. And here come the Colonel. 12 seconds, wide out to both sides. He's over back to throw the football, lifts downfield, throws the out pattern to Roach. No and sir. he does not catch it. He does not get his foot in bounds. At the 34-yard line, Mike Woods was right on it, Mike. Yeah, I was right here. He didn't, didn't pay any attention to where it was, actually. He had the ball was right there on the line. If he had stopped and had any kind of field presence, uh, that was a catchable ball. He was right on the 30-yard line. It was a good play, except for the out-of-bounds catch. Two plays left in the most in this football game, barring yeah, a defensive one. penalty against this, Beachwood. This one, I, I, I don't this think you can, Randy, I don't think you can go the length of the field. I don't think Keys can throw it down the length of the field and have it be fun. I think you've got to go for a quick pattern and then set up for one final play. But you got to get out-of-bounds and call timeout. The Colts will call timeout now. Six seconds left. In my own eye, I'll tell you what. Head out to the far side. Beachum to the near. Man in the slot is Roach. Right out far side is Foley. I think they're going to go across the middle of the Foley and see if he can get it into the end zone. I don't think it's going to happen. Nope. He's underneath. He'll go back to throw the football. Looks downfield. Got time. He'll throw it up left. Down the right side. Looking for Roach. It is going to be picked off, I believe, at the six-yard line. And it is. And Beachwood will win it. Is it Crow that came down with a football? I think so. Yep. And that will do it. Fireworks at Edgar McMahon, 28-23. The Beachwood Tigers have won it over Covington Catholic. Down nine with seven minutes to play. A bad call, a couple of bad miscues by Covington Catholic, and Beachwood made the most of both. Struck two on the board, 28-23. Mike Wood down on the field. Chris, can I have a minute? Right down. And we're going to try to get... Coach Mike Yeagle. All right. We're going to try to get Coach Yeagle here momentarily. We're going to try to get him before he goes into the locker room. 28 23 the final. There's in the fireworks. Off the under, and Mike, you're down on the football field. What do you got? Coach. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to have to get this play here in a minute. First of all, Coach, the last seven minutes of that game from a nine point deficit that hasn't happened like that. Touchdown and one completion. So real good, especially in the cup All right, well, thanks for your time. Congratulations. And uh, get back in there with your teammates for the next week or so. Mr. Ray Hopkins, we overheard uh, Coach Lynn Ray's comments, Kevin and Randy, after the game. And uh, Coach said, basically, you're going to have to forget about this week. You're going to have to forget about the fact that you made a mistake. You're going to have to work harder in practice. It ain't going to get any easier for the Cubs' Cats' Colonels.